Hello and welcome to the Knowledge Base Video Guide for adding a mail account into Microsoft Outlook 2010. My name is Ian and I'll be helping you through adding a new mailbox into Outlook. Once you've opened Outlook, you'll need to click on the File tab and then the button that says Add Account. Skip filling in these boxes and select the box at the bottom that says Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types. This will grey out the rest of the boxes and then you can then click next. We're going to be setting up a email that is connected over the internet so you need to leave it ticked as it says internet email and click next. Fill in the, the top boxes, so your name, your email address, The email address that you should use is either your domain address or the address provided in your mail migration email. If you haven't received this mail migration email or you've lost it or need another copy, uh, hang on to the end of the video and I'll give you the number that you need to contact us and we'll send you a new copy or we'll give you the credentials over the phone. Uh, the mail account type that we want is POP3. Uh, your incoming mail server is mail.daemon co.uk and your outgoing server is smtp.demon.co.uk uh, your username will be the username provided in your migration mail again and the password will also be in that mail migration email again if you haven't received it or you need another copy hold on to the end and I'll give you the telephone number to call so once you've filled in those boxes, you need to click more settings. We're not quite finished adding the account yet. On outgoing server tab, you need to tick the box that says my outgoing server requires authentication and then leave it use the same settings as incoming mail server. If you then go to the advanced tab at the end, you need to tick the box that says this server requires encrypted connection SSL, that's for the incoming server. You'll notice that the port number will change from 110 to 995. That's fine. And then on the drop down that says use the following type of encrypted connection for outbound, you need to select TLS. We recommend that you leave a copy on the server but do not remove after 14 days as we'll hold it for 30 days anyway. If you OK that box and then click next. Outlook will verify the settings. You may receive a pop-up, that just means that the either the email address or username or the password is incorrect. Just double check them. But you should get in two ticks pop-up for outgoing and incoming. Click next. And then it will say congratulations, you've successfully entered all the information required to set up your account. Click finish and that's your email account connected and you should start to see email coming back in. So if you do have any problems please contact us on our help desk 0843 104 0533 and thank you for using Knowledge Base. Goodbye.